Travis Kelsey will see Taylor Swift in Argentina this week. Page Six was informed by a source that Travis will be flying to the South American nation to meet the 33-year-old pop sensation. But Travis promises to get back in time for his NFL responsibilities. The insider stated, he should return on Sunday for training on Monday. It is known that this weekend, in Buenos Aires, Taylor will begin her international tour. Fans have conjectured about Travis possibly accompanying him. Entertainment Tonight was informed by a source last month that Travis and Taylor were also involved. Though they enjoy spending time together and have a great rapport, the two are also thinking ahead. Travis intends to be there to spend time with Taylor when she embarks on her international tour in November, they continued. According to a source who spoke to news magazine People amid relationship rumors, Travis has never dated someone like Taylor. It was very unexpected for her friends, but she really loves it and is very, very happy, the source added. Taylor is unlike anyone Travis has ever dated before. According to the insider, Travis tried to give Taylor his phone number while he was at Arrowhead Stadium for her era's tour. Some people thought he was just joking about the bracelet and fell in love with it earlier this summer, but he was serious about it, the person continued. The insider said that Travis and Taylor have introduced some of their friends to each other recently and that they are enjoying getting to know one another. Everyone gets along well and enjoys witnessing their enjoyment of each other. The source declared, they make a great couple. In the meantime, Taylor's song 1989, Taylor's version, made its largest debut of the artist's career three days ago, according to reports that it debuted at the top of the Billboard 200 this week. The singer's album debuted at number one on the Billboard list for the 13th time with its release on October 27. 1989, Taylor's version, was also the biggest album debut, according to Billboard. Since Adele turned 25 in 2015, this has been decided based on unit sales. All of Taylor's full-length studio albums and re-recorded projects have held the number one spot, starting with 2008's Fearless and ending 1989, Taylor's version, in 2023.